Donkey Kong. Now hold on. Now hold on. Donkey Kong and Wolf. Three, two, Definitely don't see uh, Donkey Kong very oh, often, you know. And one, like, you know, heavy character, very powerful, and oh, I'm loving these parries. Ooh. If there's anything I can say about Donkey Kong is a matchup like Wolf is generally going to be beneficial in theory mm -hmm. because you can play to the DK X factor where, oh, I grab you and just carry you to a point where you can't recover, and that's can just happen sometimes. Yeah, and that's the, that's the, that's like the backseat in your head that you have to really think about a lot, which it might happen right now. Great match. Oh, yeah. It's, it's still so scary for anyone who plays Wolf who does not have much of a, of a good recovery in general, uh, vertical or horizontal-wise. So having to deal with uh, DK grab is so detrimental. But you know, Elroy's doing an amazing job at keeping C at bay with under 24 to his name. And Elroy only 58%. Yeah, I think the uh -oh. key factor is missing that platform uh, assisted Ding Dong. Uh, LRA start is no stranger to awkward matchups, having grinded play incredibly hard, being a part of the grunt gang. Oh, Looking you're to crazy! Try and take this stop with a couple of F tilts, but the patience coming out from C, calling out that rising aerial thanks to the low profile of mm -hmm. Wolf's up smash. It's a, it's solid start for LRA, but this can be, uh, this can, the lead, this lead can fold incredibly quickly if played right. And C is looking to catch a two frame with the F tilt, but just missing. Yeah, like yeah, 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 you were saying, you know, Elroy started doing an amazing job at, you know, really capitalizing on DK's um, uh, uh, weaknesses. He is heavy, he is slow, and that is something that Elroy Star will be able to kind of capitalize on when he does, like, when he does down throw into Nair, into fair. But, you know, he has to really be careful getting off stage because, again, DK, can, he's charged up, he's ready, he has, he's almost got rage going. And Elroy has to be really careful in this kind of situation. He can be completely... Oh! Try yeah. being a roll there. Expected the hold in exp uh, yep. for proper DI, but C playing uh, playing firm, knowing that one uh, one conversion can just mean anything, especially with this giant punch online. But C's got to be careful with some of these aerials out of shield. They've been going for a lot of uh, just jump with a rising aerial out of out of block, and LRA start has just been sticking to the ground to avoid it all. But this advantage, not finding the air dodge and missing the dash attack as well. Finding a bunch of stray hits, but not Gain linking back into air. anything. And LRA punishes the air-to-air -air with a strong hit of that back air. Yeah, well, back air is definitely really, really useful for this kind of matchup, especially for someone like DK. Uh, if he's able to... Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting how to turn around for C. C at one stock. Very. Uh, what he needs to really do is kind of not allow himself to get caught by a lot of uh, LRA Star's uh, uh, air, air movement and air, uh, air attacks, like right now. And these platforms would be useful for C if he's able to really capitalize on Wolf grab and down like down throw into up air, which he's been trying to do a lot during this uh, during this matchup. And then he's in a very dangerous situation where he can get Wolf back right there, and that will be first game. He was pretty much trapped had he been two framed by uh, by Wolf Dito, could have been, and uh, he just got back here off the top platform. Uh, this is a top platform. Yeah, this is a tough one right here because you're forced to play uh, you're forced to play out of the corner as a very large body compared to LRA who yep. is just using the power of Wolf's initial dash as we go to the to the beginning of that replay. Oh, okay. Well, we'll move yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go to the beginning of this replay right here and what we're watching is LRA drift to be always drift or dash to always be right about here. Mm -hmm. This is outside of DK's grab range and in a position where you can pull up block and avoid a lot of DK's first options, whether it be F tilt or dash attack. So you're forcing Donkey Kong to commit while never allowing the, while, while never allowing C to get started because you're never allowing yourself to get grabbed. And I think that is the most important part about Wolf when mm -hmm. you play against some of these more cheesier characters is you can just choose to not get hit. You can choose to avoid some of the most potent starters that the opponent has. Which is why the switch to Palutena makes all the more sense. Of course, yeah, we, and we did see the C Palutena uh, a little bit earlier in the matchup, uh, and actually in, in the bracket uh, against AO, against, uh, I believe it was BC? I want to say it was BC. No. Travis, it was Travis something. But either way, the point was that he did do a amazing job as Palu. Palu does have a pretty much a good advantage over Wolf and the fact that she can juggle him so easily. And off stage, she has such an amazing off ledge uh, game. Which we're gonna possibly be fishing for our power. Yep. Either that down to the back air, not getting the back air right there. And oh! Yeah, the power chain is counter coming out yeah. a little bit too late thanks to the already existing momentum for LA to start to get to ledge. 
looking for the two frame, but missing it, and just that speed, uh, the innate airspeed at C, allowing him to get to platform before LRA Star could complete the ledge trap. Not pulling the trigger on the up smash, both these players playing extremely careful in center stage, knowing how much a lead matters in between these two in a matchup like this. Yeah, oh. completely agree. It might be a back throw right here. Not going to well, take it, however. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I would say it's the end of time. It's, it's, it sucks. is the worst killing back throw in the game. Easy. Yeah, they never, they're never really able to capitalize on that. And she was at like, what, uh, Pally was at what, 150? 150 after the throw. Yeah, and, and it still didn't kill, and she's not even that heavy in general. So, you know, back throw is not good, but that her back throw is not going to take it, because oh, yeah. she has a good back throw. Yeah, sure. Her back throw is nice, and also, Elray going for a little bit of an, going for an air dodge a little bit too early. But now we're seeing the instances where Wolf can struggle to close out a stop. If you play to Wolf's face, you don't have to worry about, especially at one, even at 190, you don't have to worry about facing a back throw if you play to your center stage and force Wolf to consistently try to, uh, f force him to go for down throws and forward throws as a means of punish. Playing out of the corner against Wolf in this position is pretty strong on top of the, uh, relentless aggression that C was uh, was applying, it was allowing them to land on these platforms and mix up just where they were going to land. And now that down, throw in, down tilt into forward air could close out the stock a little bit late on the down the second down yeah, tilt, and LRA skips on by. C's just not able to get these up air uh, up smash that he really wants to get on the ledge, and he has to really kind of uh, adapt that situation where his opponents are simply either going to neutral get up away from, that, from, the, uh, from the up smash, or simply roll out, and you know, not even just say anything, you know, he does have a really good lead against LRA Star. Like you were saying, his amazing spacing. Honestly, oh, nice back air right there. Speaking of spacing, uh, speaking just spacing. right by Wolf Forward air <laughs> and into my back loving there, arms. Back throw. <laughs> but yeah, C has amazing spacing against Wolf. It's something you absolutely need to be very conscious of in general. And he's catching uh, LRA Star a lot in these nares that Palu absolutely just needs to really push a lot of damage. And Wolf is so easily juggable as well because he doesn't have much to do in the air either. I like, I like how C is a really applying that juggle game by purposefully avoiding just what makes Wolf uh, can make Wolf hard to juggle, mm -hmm. which is uh, landing there being so prominent. But C's augmenting the, their combos to go for almost exclusively fast faller specific combos, not trying to go for any bread and butters. Yep. Only single nares into forward airs and into more horizontal chains have really let the damage stack on without any of the pressure that Wolf can just land for free somewhere. Yeah, this he's playing this matchup very safely. And Damn, fine, Wolf Professor coming out, is avoiding his push flame, but not avoiding that dash attack. And this might be the end of Elleris, or if he's able to get, no, just a forward throw. Possible down tilt to back air, not quite. Yeah, trying to play off this platform, just drops through all very simply. And the yeah, explosive, explosive flame. flame. Wow. From deep. And that most was, of the time yeah. in a position like this, uh, I think we saw it especially in uh, the earlier stocks, uh, C would only go for an auto reticle to ensure their recovery. But the change up of going for explosive flame, just a little something that LRA wasn't ready for. You saw them dashing back and forth and putting themselves into the commitment that is initial dash, despite Wolf having one of the best funky angles aside. <laughs> Geometry, you know? Trigonometry. Triangles. That's a square. That's a square. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a rectangle, actually. <laughs> they didn't see me. They didn't see me. <laughs> they didn't see. They didn't see. It's okay. All, no these, all these squares us. make a circle eventually. You're right, you're as right. We, as we go on to Pokemon Stadium, just, you know, we're really just getting 2019 format. Absolutely, like, that's what yeah. we're watching. Like, Palutena Wolf, Pokemon Stadium is the the counter, Five Flats as the counter pick, the small battlefield was a nice change of pace, especially for C. And the teleport cancel will let C not only link into a ledge trap, but also taking the jump, but not running off with the counter, allowing LRA Start to, at the very least, get back to stage, even if he did take a massive amount of damage. Yeah, he's taking, he's taking an even more damage as we're speaking at 134%, just from the, the, the lush rush situation that he got himself stuck into. And Wolf only has a limited amount of recovery options that he can do that won't get pun he won't get punished for. And, you know, that will definitely take it. What was that? Up throw? I didn't get to see. It was a oh, down. It was uh, Nair into the up Nair tilt, which is a, tilt. Okay. a true conversion, and especially after the singular buff that Palutena got, uh, having the up tilt have no more knockback makes it a really viable conversion at the percents where down throw to back air stops working. 
Ooh, up angled on the forward tilt, avoiding the auto reticle thanks to the blaster shot. LRA start his entire game plan on this ledge is revolving around back air, and C has stopped jumping in the corner. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that, that's going to be done for Wolf. Yep. Yeah, yeah just, just spacey things, you know? Just spacey <laughs> things. Not having a good recovery. Yeah, exploitable to a T, but there's that dash attack to close out the stock and give LRA a chance to perhaps close out this, uh, get this game a little bit closer if they're able to put together what makes Wolf so effective. But with the inability for C to, for uh, LRA to find many of these landing fares, while the damage and tech chasing have been really on point, C has limited the amount of starters that LRA has and has caught the jump so well. Their offense has been extremely potent, putting LRA in it, situations that upon first hit, he's not expecting. No, oh, you're absolutely right. C is, is is calling out a lot of LRA's habits, you know, catching his jumps and also just using uh, using moves that Palu knows that Wolf can't really contest or, or, or punish or even, like, work off of. He kind of has to go at C's pace because she because uh, of Palu, but C, he is setting the pace for his matchup and not quite getting the kill off of that, but that Nair possibly will. Uh, no. Not quite yet, and surrenders but the stock for it, unfortunately, mm -hmm. C now forced into a position where LRA can start to rack something together. I'm if hoping I'm seeing a, a bit of a comeback. Hopefully, if I, if we, if we, no, if I'm saying, once again, taking that stock off of LRA and sending him down to losers. I was really hoping to see some more of LRA's uh, try and true methods of using down tilt. Um, I'm sorry. Down throw into dash attack, into the uh, detail, which he typically does very often. But, you know, he keeps getting caught with his explosive flame, which happened last game, last stock again. Yeah, I really liked how C was just taking what Palutena does so effectively, mm -hmm. which everybody has written the book, many players have written the book on before, and putting a little bit of a twist on it. Fast falling a little bit earlier than LRA expected. Uh, going for, not going for many jumps in the corner and using Palutena's airspeed to get away, but then as we uh, well, we see the dash attack there. It was it was in the last stock, but the back air didn't kill. This back air, this okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm Go gonna ahead. I'm gonna reset this video. Hold on. <laughs> this jump right here is really wicked smart because there was many a times throughout the entirety of this both games where there was a Palutena, uh, where C played Palutena, where they just decided to not jump in the corner. They would sit there and hold shield and watch LRA start throw out back airs and say, okay, this is what we're doing now. The one time LRA is in a position where they need to close out the stop, they're starting to get a little desperate, they pull the trigger on the grab early, and C promptly jumps that exact one time. Doesn't result in the stock, as the backer uh, fails to fully take out, take the kill. Then they come back down. But the, the yeah, it, it allows for an edge mm -hmm. guard, it allows for this positioning that C rarely, it, off of a look that C rarely showed, but was ready to do at a moment's notice. And it's mm -hmm. those little timing mix-ups that are so important in a character who is quote-unquote solved. Yeah. So, hey, that was good great. job, C. Great. <laughs> Big analysis, great. <laughs>